Okay, walk it. Today we're going to journal page 26, multiplying polynomials. Steps to multiply polynomials. Step 1, distribute, FOIL, or use the box method. Step 2, combine like terms. Step 3, apply the exponent rules. Alright, if you would finish up your notes. Alright, let's take a look at example 1. Journal page 26, multiplying polynomials. Perform the following polynomial multiplication. So, parentheses x minus 9 multiplied by five, parentheses 5x squared plus 6x minus 1. So, I'm going to work this problem both using the box method and FOIL. Um, feel free to choose which one you'd like to use, okay? So, box method, 8 times 5 is 40. Now, when you multiply exponents, you add them. So, this is x to the first power. So, x to the first times x to the second is x to the third. Eight times six is forty-eight. Now again, this is x to the first power, so x to the first times x to the first is x squared. Eight x times negative one is negative eight x. Okay, negative nine times five is negative forty-five, and that's x squared. Negative 9 times 6, and for some reason I don't know that off the top of my head. It is negative 54. X to the first power is just X. And then negative 9 times negative 1 is a positive 9. Okay? So now we combine terms. So we have 40x cubed. There's nothing to combine with that. Now here, you have a 48x squared and a negative 45. Same exponent. So we combine. So 48x squared minus 45x squared is plus 3x squared. And then you combine the x's here. So negative 54x and negative 8x is... I don't know why that went off the top of my head. Let's see, 54 minus 8 is 62. So minus 62x and then plus 9. Okay, now that's using the box method. Let's do the same problem but using FOIL. So FOIL, you multiply 8x times 5x squared. So that's 40x squared. And then you multiply 8 times 6x, which is plus 48x. And then 8 times negative 1, which is, I'm sorry, 8x times negative 1 is negative 8x. And I think I made a mistake. Yeah, x times x is x. Oh, yep. Let me go back. 8x times 5x squared is 40x cubed. Messed up on the exponents on this. Let's see. And then 8x times 6x is 48x squared. And then 8x times negative 1 is 8x. And I knew that something was wrong because they were all x and not decreasing exponents. Okay. Now we multiply negative 9 times 5x, which is negative 45x squared. Notice how I immediately line up the x squareds. Negative 9 times negative 6 is negative 54 x and then negative 9 times negative 1 is a positive 9. I thought I had a ruler. Oh, I want that ruler once upon a time, but I've... Oh, it's right here. Uh -huh. So now you just combine terms vertically. So that's 40x cubed. 40x squared minus 45 squared is plus 3x squared and then 8x and negative 54x is minus 62x and then plus 9. You can see you have the same answer, different methods. Okay, finish up example 1. All right, now let's take a look at example 2. Perform the following polynomial multiplication. So multiply this times this, okay? So we use box method. So I'm going to put a 1 in front there. So 1x cubed times 3x squared is 3x to the fifth. 
And let me pause a second to sharpen my pencil. All right. Um, this is x to the 1, so that's 1 times 4 is 4. x cubed times x is x to the 4th. x cubed times negative 4 is negative 4x cubed. Okay, 7x squared times 3x squared, so that's 21x to the 4th. 7x squared times 4x is 28x cubed. 7x squared times negative 4 is negative 28x squared. 1 times 3x squared is 3x squared, 4x, and negative 4. So now we can combine terms. So that's 3x to the 5th. Okay. 21x to the 4th and 4x to the 4th is 25x to the 4th. And then we combine these, so 3 and 28 is 31 minus 4. And let me just make sure I don't get this calculation wrong. So let me do 3 plus 28 minus 4 is 27. So that's, let's see, let me double check that. So 3 plus 28 minus 4. Yep, 27. So plus 27x squared. Okay. And then, oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I almost made a mistake. And this is why you want to... Consciously be looking at your work as you go. This is a squared. This is a cubed. Okay. So this actually doesn't combine with these. So this is 28 minus 4 is actually plus 24x cubed. Now the squares are right here. So negative 28 and 3 is negative 25x squared plus 4x minus 4. What that really small. Plus 4x minus 4. So we have to steal some space from this portion of the problem. Okay. Now the great thing about doing this problem with different methods is when I work this, it'll check the work of this problem. Okay. So now we're going to foil. So then that's x cubed times 3x squared is 3x to the fifth. Okay. And then x cubed times 4x is plus 4x squared. Or I'm sorry, plus 4x to the fourth. And then x cubed times negative 4 is negative 4x cubed. Now we foil this. Okay, so then 7x squared times is 21x to the fourth. I know so I'm going to put that here. 7x squared times 4 is 7, 14, 21, so that's plus 28x cubed. And then 7x squared times negative 4 is negative 28x squared. And then multiply 1 by everything. 1 times 3x squared is... 3x squared, 1 times 4x is plus 4x minus 4. I need to actually steal some space back. All right, so 3x to the fifth, I'm going to bring that down. That's 3x to the fifth. 21 and 4 is plus 25x to the fourth. That combines to be 24x cubed. And then that's negative 25x squared plus 4x minus 4. Okay, and you can see that 
this work lines up with that. So go ahead and finish up example two. All right, now that you have that finished up, let's look at example three. All right, general page 26, multiplying polynomials. Okay, example three, perform the following polynomial multiplication. So we're going to multiply this times this. Okay, so we're going to use the box method first. So 4x times 7x squared is 28x cubed. Now, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Now, when you multiply x times xy, x times x is x squared, and then the y is just there. Okay? Now, 4 times 2 is 8, and then x times y squared is just xy squared. You always put them in alphabetical order, so the x first, then the y. Okay? So 5 times 7 is 35. And when you multiply y times x squared, the x squared goes first, then the y in alphabetic order. Okay, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. And then there's the x that goes first, and then y times y is y squared. Okay, and then 5 times 2 is 10. y times y squared is y cubed. Okay, so now let's combine terms. There's no other x cubed, so that's 28 x cubed. Now here we can combine these because they have the same x squared and y. So 35 minus 20 is plus 15x squared y. And then these have the same, so x and y squared. So negative 25 and 8. And let me just make sure I get that number right. So Is negative 17 so that's minus 17 x y squared and then plus 10 y cubed okay all right so now let's use foil so 4x times x squared is let's see 28 x cubed 4x times negative 5 is, that's negative 20x squared y. 4x times 2 is plus 8xy squared. Now, 5y times 7 is, that's plus 35x squared y. And then that's negative 25 x y squared and then plus 10 y squared okay so you have 28 x cubed plus 15 x squared y minus 17 x y squared plus 10 y squared all right go ahead and finish up example three and have a wonderful wildcat day